Farmers and herdsmen in Majukwingar County in southwest China's Tibet Autonomous Region have seen improving welfare over the past year. County officials say in 2015, the county government invested some 290 million yuan, or about 44 million U.S. dollars, to livelihood projects such as education, Medicare, and old age care. So far, about 48,000 local farmers and herdsmen have benefited from the projects. Today, Norbu is one of them. Thanks to a pension system, he no longer relies on farming income only, but also his pension. Each and every our senior farmers and herdsmen is entitled for pension allowance, even if you have lost your capability of undertaking any work. In line with the new pension policy, all residents of the county aged above 60 are eligible for pension, reaching from 46 to 154 dollars each month. In healthcare. The government and insurance companies jointly reimburse medication fees for local farmers and herdsmen. No matter how much you spend on your medication, now the money could be reimbursed 100 percent. It's so great. Moreover, to encourage all students to go to college for higher education, the county government pays all tuition and accommodation fees for those who are enrolled in colleges. And each of college students is issued with a monthly subsidy of about thirty dollars. In the past, students' families have to open their purse for college fees. But since we implemented the new policies last May, local residents do not need to pay even one penny for their kids' education. So some local residents are kidding like this. It's very easy to raise a child now. You just need to pay for the kids before two years old. After that, it's government's job.